every weekend, Friday and Saturday nights. Late night drag racers and their loud cars keeping people awake at a homeless shelter in New Haven. Pinpoint News Tracker shows us where this is happening right outside the Columbus House on Ella T. Grasso Boulevard. And that's where we find Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland. And Matt, it's not just a nuisance, this is really dangerous too. Uh, absolutely, Stephanie. You know, the shelter right behind me, those windows, well, on the opposite side of that wall, that's where folks are trying to sleep. And we're told these drag racers, they set up shop right outside the shelter here in the parking lot as they turn this boulevard into their own personal raceway. The cell phone video shows cars revving their engines as drag racers rip up and down Ella T. Grasso Boulevard. And they're doing it just a few feet from New Haven's Columbus House. A homeless shelter. To be woke that way and then to, to lose the sleep over a two or three day period was very traumatic to my illness. It's a sound Kenny Magda lived through while staying at Columbus House. A sound he still can't shake. It's a dang. It was hell. It was hell on wheels. And staff here at the shelter say it happens basically every weekend. This is pretty loud just standing here. Imagine if you had these cars that are souped up for racing, which are incredibly loud, just buzzing by. Um, and we had clients um, this week telling us that it happens at 3 o'clock in the morning. Columbus House Executive Director Margaret Middleton says they have beds for about 100 people, including space for those recovering from medical procedures. And the noise takes its toll. One thing we know about homelessness is it's incredibly hard existence. People are tired. They often have chronic health conditions. They need rest, like we all do. And you cannot rest when you have illegal street racing happening. What is this, 20 feet outside your window? To see for herself, Middleton showed up on a weekend and shot this video. She tells us she's been in contact with New Haven police who respond. But as you can see, the racers just take off when they notice the flashing lights on the way. And she feels a police presence alone will not likely solve the problem, saying the issue is the road itself. The challenge we have is this straight patch of El Grasso Boulevard. Um, we'd really like to be able to offer people a safe and quiet night's sleep here. And how do you do that? I mean, right now on Friday and Saturday nights, we really can't. And it's not just impacting the clients, but also the employees here. Margaret says a staffer who was getting dropped off for a midnight shift, their car was actually hit by one of the racers who then took off. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.